Hey guys, Dan here, doing a quick little overview of my Star Wars collection over here. I have all my Blu-rays and some comic books in chronological order. I have, uh, yes, I went to the dark side and actually bought Blu-rays of the Despecialized Edition. Yes, I know you can download them for free, but I like the packaging that was provided. Got some Funkos, some figures from when I was a kid, a couple of books and um, holiday special, Ewok special, things like that. But uh, there's one product that I did say that I would review and I never did. And uh, six years later, I'm finally going to get to it, and that's the Book of the Sith. Okay, so I'm going to start the review on the shelf. As you can see, Wide Berth over here. You can see some other anime collections and Sonic collections, things like that. But um, <laughs> I think it makes great looking bookends. Obviously, I have to put real bookends and things like that on there, but... Uh, yeah, it, it's it looks great. It's a great uh, plastic case um, Batteries I did have to change once so far in the six years that I have owned it and that's with minimal use But uh, yeah, it uh, it looks great on the shelf. Uh, it's got a decently big footprint uh, Don't let this shelf disguise you. You know, this is just as thick as a blue as a DVD case or a blu-ray case I made this but um yeah, it's actually a lot wider because this is supposed to sit flat. So uh, let me get this on the table and we'll start a tabletop review. Yeah, so that was it opening. Uh, I didn't alter the audio levels at all on it, but um, I am using my lav mic, so that's the audio that you're getting from it. It's fairly loud, um, but it, you know, that's fine. Um, it's not something you use all the time, so you kind of want a big presentation when you do open it. Get the book. Feels like it's nice leather, embossed. This is the collector's edition. They do sell uh, cheaper versions of this at the store and on the inside. Let's see if we get that in there. We'll have the Sith compass, I guess you would call it. Um, you'll notice this if you've watched Star Wars Rebels. Uh, Savage Opress had this when he was looking for his brother, Darth Maul. Uh, opens up, just cheap plastic type thing, but you know what? It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, you, you can hear how plastic it is. And then you can see there are there's some writing on there. In uh, Arabic, I believe, is the language, and uh, just some symbols in there. So, yeah. And usually I just leave these in here. Nothing crazy. And there is a red lightsaber crystal. This is a little bit hard to remove, but it is one of the cooler uh, grab bag ish items, I guess you could say. Well, you know, the loot that they leave in here. It's, it's pretty cool. Sorry, that's my, uh, <laughs> that's my light that I use to kind of light up this table over here, but. Yeah, let me see if I can get that in focus for you guys. Yeah, just a red hunk of plastic, but it looks pretty cool. And if you're doing a cool-looking uh, Sith cosplay, uh, maybe I'll put some pictures up of mine. It's a cool thing to have on you. I usually don't carry this stuff on me because I kind of just like to leave it and have it not disappear on me. It's nice. But, uh, yeah, again, it's just, it's just a piece of plastic. You, you know, you can get a red crystal anywhere. And uh, I actually like these little standoffs they have over here. Again, some more Arabish, I believe is the language. I, I'm a little removed from the from that because I'm not super into the um, some of that stuff. I don't I don't know how to read it, but uh, yeah, it's got these stands right over here that just clips right into, and it kind of just stays suspended. But of course, it's a little fiddly, and it's kind of hard to do while you're holding camera with the pistol grip. There we go. And you can kind of turn it and make it however you want. But yeah, that's the presentation. So you take your book out and then, yep, they made this one close up by itself. Um, yeah, it, that's, that's probably one of my favorite features of it. Um, the other one, wait. Right, Yeah, it's really loud. Um, the other one, it kind of ruined the illusion a little bit. 
um, the whole point of it trying to look like it's something that comes from the Star Wars universe, and you have to manually reset it every time. So I am happy that it's just a quick, uh, quick and simple toggle switch that you switch, you know, that you put on and off, and it opens and closes. Uh, that is a much nicer detail. But now for a quick overview of the book, just like my original review of the, pa uh, ugh, the Jedi Path. I'll get on with the tabletop review, but I figured I'd just show you guys just some of the dimensions and stuff of this. Uh, I'd say it's about foot wide. No, it's about, about a square foot. Um, pretty light. And uh, nothing much on the bottom. No, like, product distributed by or whatever like that. It's completely free of branding, which I think is very, very nice. And it's pretty light. And again, I like that those inside things did have clips because it makes transporting this great because you don't have any rattling or anything like that. That's just my little review of the shell that it comes in. Uh, I'll get back to that book now. Okay, so tabletop review. I'm gonna start now, I'm gonna do a couple parts, maybe. Might just do one take like I did on the first review. Um, but I am a little removed from reading this book. Um, very, very nice packaging. Hon honestly, this is, it's, this is really nice. Uh, if you can get the collector's edition, spend the extra money on it. I don't know if it's actually that much more expensive anymore. I don't know how much it's retained its value. I think to start it was about $100, but um, I'm not quite sure what it is now. Um, I might post a comment on this video showing how much it goes for on eBay or something like that. But it's uh, definitely worth the upgrade if you want something for your shelves or something like that. Um, I'm not as I'm just gonna start off saying I'm not as big as a fan of the book as uh, Jedi's Path, and that's why it's taken so long. But I'll go through it. Let's see what we have over here. Uh, first page you open up and you have a letter from Luke saying, you know, kind of just summarizing this book and why it's so much different than the Jedi Path. Jedi Path is more of a textbook. This is more of a um, collection of books that um, uh, Lord Sidious, or if you want to say Emperor Palpatine, have put together. Um, and that's why some of it's missing and things like that. But uh, this is just the note that Luke leaves us at the beginning. There is another page in the middle that kind of just says the Book of Sith. Um, I guess, you know, like if someone was fanboying and made it they'd go in here. So this is the first little throw-in thing that they give you, which I'm kind of a little disappointed with. Um, it's just not, it, you know, it's kind of weird that he left like this note in over here. Um, I don't know why he wouldn't write it on a page over here or even this inside page over here because there's a preface also kind of explaining the book. So it's like a double explanation um, and it's basically um, uh, Darth Sidious uh, kind of just, you know, massaging his ego, saying like, oh, you know, I put this together, this is all my plan, things like this. Um, he also does explain um, this book as well. Um, you have three notes from Luke on the same page, which is uh, a lot. So I guess maybe they felt like putting that fourth one on the page would be too much. Um, my, my, my favorite thing is the pages are numbered so he actually wrote a note saying that he numbered it because it's being cataloged and um, numbering the pages would be easier for someone to catalog this um, so that was a pretty cool explanation over there and then it's just got a couple of things like yeah and Luke talks a lot in this book um, which is probably one of my other complaints and Darth Sidious it's a lot of them, the two of those voices a lot but there are other people in here um, it does you know a couple more things over here, you know, Darth plays, you know, uh, Darth Sidious' story. Um, what I like over here, under the New Truths section of this little preface, is it tells you what readings you're gonna get. So you're gonna get um, from Sorzu Sin. Excuse me if I uh, <laughs> butcher any of these names. Uh, Darth Malgus, Darth Bane, Mother Talzin, and Darth Plagueis, as well as you also get another section by um, Darth Sidious at the end, kind of explaining his grand. Sorry about that. So anyway, um, yeah, so you also get a one more writing by Darth Sidious at the end. I'm just trying to pick up where I left off. And, and um, yeah, it just goes on a couple more about the writings. Who's written notes in here, like Quinlan Voss, Count Dooku, Darth Vader. Um, obviously, he didn't write that um, uh, Luke did because Luke's writing it after... There are also notes from Mace Windu and Yoda because he's recovered some of these books from the Jedi archives. So um, that's kind of... Oh, I get that candy out of the picture. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's uh, 
it kind of explains the book and why there's like certain things in here and kind of sets up the timelines and things like that um yeah last page when well, we're going you're going to get a lot of Darth Sidious and a lot of Luke in this uh in this book that's where most of the comments are you might get a, a you know the next book has a lot from Mace and Yoda but that, that that's a lot you know that's about it so we start off it's a journal entry um from some dark jedis that have landed on the Sith planet and they kind of um, explain how they went from Darth as Jedi's and almost being gods to the Sith, which is an alien race, not uh, the Sith as we know it just yet. And how they've um, ended up here, things like that, how they've tamed beasts, uh, you know, and things like that, Al alchemy, and you know, how, kind of basically how they built the Sith Empire, the original one that from like the old Republic games and things like that. Um, so you get to, a look of what the Sith look like, a breakdown of the different races and how they all, you know, not, they're all race, you know, they're all Sith, but the different uh, classes and types of Sith, and, you know, warrior Sith, Jedi Sith, and these like grunts and things like that kind of, um, I actually really, really enjoyed this book. Um, it goes over a lot in depth uh, and even starts going over um, kind of more of the magical end, kind of like Mother Talzin and things like that. So I really, really like this and goes over like Sith holocrons and how they're different than Jedi ones and stuff like that. And you get nice comments from Yoda and Mace throughout. Um, this is actually one of the longer readings. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be flipping through so this way you guys can see. Uh, it goes over some more of the um, war beasts that they've created and corrupted and things like that. Um, I found this reading to be super duper interesting uh, while I was reading it. And it was a really great start to the book because... It was a very, very nice origin. Um, I do feel like it went on for a little bit longer than maybe it had to, uh, covering a little too much, but um, the author's a really, really big fanboy, and he just probably wanted to fit as much stuff as good in here. This page, we get one of the first um, readings or scrolls of the Sith, or uh, I think they call it a, uh, yeah, script. So this is a part of it that was left over. You know, I get a piece of cloth that's kind of folded up. Um, for me, it looked a little too factory. It's like a perfect triangle, and the tattering doesn't really look super duper great. But it's a nice feely thing to be thrown into your book. Um, I, I don't think that the throw-ins in this book are as good as the Jedi Path either. But I really like this one. It was kind of cool. <laughs> uh, and then you wiggle over the code of the Sith. You have it written out, which is absolutely great, and it looks awesome because they gave it this huge space and heading to go over um it, 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 it's really really nice um and it goes over the the differences between the jedi code and the sith code it, it, this is probably one of my more favorites and this is probably my second favorite reading uh and that is by darth uh, darth uh malgus and it's basically is his like war journal. So obviously you see a change in paper over here because it's supposed to be different books. This, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. This is more of a, a graphing paper, which I really, 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 really liked. Uh, it reads so nicely. This section, it's, I, I like that it's tight and the whole basically style of it, it's very, very nicely drawn. Everything in here is really, really nice. Uh, you have his war plans drawn over here. They go, he goes over some of the, the, the war droids and things like that. Some people that you might um, recognize, like Arteris. I actually have a cosplay of him. It's actually pretty nice. Might post that picture up of you guys. It's not wonderful, but it's it's I like it. Um, you do start getting some notes from Darth Vader in here. And uh, yeah, you just see, you know, he's kind of just telling different war stories, things like that, going over. And I really like the throw in on uh, this uh, chapter or book, whatever you want to call it, a lot more than all the other ones. Uh, yeah, he just, you know, he starts going into different drawings and stuff. So he gives you, you, you get, you come across this little notepad, right? And I'm sorry I'm putting it upside down because I'm going to flip this video. Um, but, um,. You know, it just says, you know, acquired equipment, tells you all the things that he's going to need, right? And Mandalorian support. Uh, it does note that one of the drop ships, that one of them was stolen and it could be a diversion. And he changes around of how many Sith warriors he needs and the war droids and stuff that he needs. Um, I'm sure this is a reference to something that I am not 100% sure on. 
Um, so if uh, you guys know what that's an Easter egg for, the one stolen, please let me know. But um, you open it up, and it's a map. It's an invasion map, and I think it's awesome. <laughs> I think this is a little low tech for the Star Wars universe that they would have this, but it's a paper map. And it's got drawings all over it, almost like a football plan, and telling you where everyone's going to drop and things like that, and how they're going to get, you know, hit the target and everything like that. I, this again, I think this might be this one's probably my favorite insert. Um, if you don't count the stuff in the box, I think the crystal is my favorite, but that's just a chunk of plastic. This is the coolest, the coolest one. And that's it. And we go off into the rule of two, which. Um, this one's okay. Um, it basically goes over. It's, this one's Thry Darth Bane. It basically goes over why the rule of two was initiated. And um, basically, the Sith were becoming weaker because they were just expanding and they were forming like their own Sith, like different Sith gangs. And they might have some weak guy at the top, and everyone just followed him just because. So he was kind of sick of it. And it was like, everyone's so weak. Why do we have all these weak leaders and things like that? Um, kind of goes into his uh, thinking and theology behind it. We start getting Quinlan, Quinlan Boss in here and um, it kind of goes over his um, his philosophy behind being a Sith which I really like. It goes into the lightsaber construction and he does go over different weapons and fighting styles which is probably one of my more favorite chapters in um, the Jedi's Path so I'm happy that they included one in here as well uh, and I'm happy it was Darth Bane um, that got to write this. Um, for in singles combat, obviously Darth Bane's probably one of the, the better ones. <laughs> but, um, sorry about that noise in the background. Okay, picking back up. Um, yeah, he just goes over more combat, things like that, um, different fighting techniques. Uh, it, it's a nice read, but this is usually where, um, th there's a divide in the book, in my opinion. And this is the good stuff. And then this is okay, I guess. This is a clear divide between these two sections. I don't know why. Um, I really like the stuff in the beginning. Don't like the newer stuff. The next book is by Mother Talzin. It, it's pretty cool, but um, it's, you know, I, I wasn't into Clone Wars at the time when I started watching it. Now, I've obviously, I've watched the whole series, so... Um, I appreciate this section a lot more. It goes into a little bit more of the magic and the Night Sisters and things like that. But I do feel like it's a little bit specific um, to, uh, I guess, a certain fan base at the time. I, that's not quite what I was into. It was a little bit more into the, the video game and I kind of, the video game universe sort of. So this wasn't really being highlighted in there. I was a big old Republic guy. So that's kind of what I liked a little bit more. So at the time of reading this, I guess you can say I went in with a different mindset. Um, I appreciate it, definitely, but um, even watching the Clone Wars, besides uh, Savage Press, Adventurous, and um, Darth Maul, I was not a huge fan of the Night Sisters anyway. So um, yeah, uh, it's cool. It goes into like some of like their their taming of the beast and how they make money and things like that. Um, it, it, it's it's pretty cool, but um, not not one of my favorite. Um, parts of the book and uh right now we only have two more books left inside of here i'm just calling them separate books they're supposed to be chunks of different books um i do appreciate that they do change every single paper style and writing style and one's typed and one's um looks like it's handwritten this is the notes of darth Pelagus, um and essentially goes into how you know we figured out you know how he figured out how to live forever and all that stuff you remember episode three um and the Palpatine book so um, it goes over basically all those notes this goes super duper heavy tons of writing from different characters in here um, some more drawings just doing a uh, general overview of this I'm not reading the whole book to you uh, and then we get over to the end we get into Darth Sidious's book which it really isn't my favorite this is probably my least favorite part of the book because it's essentially again him just saying how good he is and then he writes tons of notes in his own section saying about how great he is and him critiquing like his own words in his own chapter which is uh, it, as a villain 
to do that is actually kind of cool because it kind of shows how self-serving you are and things like that and um, reflection on how you felt in different time periods of the time but he's just so absolute in how great he thinks he is um, it, it, it's kind of a little annoying to be honest to you because it's like okay we get tons of Luke and tons of Darth Sidious we don't get a lot of stuff in here um, we get we get two grab uh, not, I don't know why I keep saying grab bag two uh, uh, feel the items in here we have a map of the galaxy which is it's actually kind of cool I actually really like how it folds out and stuff like that um, and basically you know it's basically a hit list and things like that and you know Geonosis and the, yeah it, it, it's pretty it's kind of cool cool little map over here but again it's more and more just kind of just like eh, it's not quite quite what I want in here um, it's interesting but I feel like this is stuff that's kind of in my opinion either hinted on the movies or is a little like repeaty of what we've just read in the other books and sections and things like that um, it, this has just kind of been all in the preface I guess maybe but I didn't like that he kind of had two sections. Another a little propaganda poster, which I really, really like. This looks great, actually, and probably one of the better uh, grab bags. But I, I didn't like that his section got two. Uh, I don't want like keep calling them grab bags. Two uh, feely items on the inside, and like Mother Talzin and Darth Plagueis didn't. And um, I just feel like the, the items that were in here just weren't as good, except for I really like the map. And uh, Darth um, Darth Malgus's section, and the the cloth was kind of cool. I was kind of disappointed with the note from Luke being a, included and advertised as a throw-in item. It's kind of just like, yeah, but he could have just written that on a page. You just gave me a piece of paper with more writing on it. There's a million pieces of paper with writing on it in this book. I don't know why you're saying this is an extra, really. Uh, and I think this. I think in the the more retail version. It's actually printed on the inside, so it's not like you're missing anything. Um, let me go grab uh, the Jedi Path, and um, maybe we'll do a little side-by-side -side review on it, and I'll give final thoughts. One other thing I did want to uh, mention, that the last page of this book does have all the credits and everything and all the publishing information on the inside. Um, I like that they leave it for the end because you can kind of just like be like, oh, turn the page and be like, oh, and uh, I'm done. Uh, I wish this this page kind of would be switched with this, but then it would be on the inside and you don't really want to ruin this page either. It's small qualms. Maybe if they would have added an extra page in, it would have been a little bit nicer. But um, yeah, I definitely don't want to... Uh, great presentation. Let me go get the Jedi back. <sighs> Sounds so good. Um, audio might sound a little different. I'm my mic for a second. This is the part I hate. This is one hand. Eee. See, this one's like this is clumsy. Clumsy packaging, but at the time, this was awesome. But I like this book more. Okay. Now that we got this all set up, side by side, very, very nice. Uh, very, very luxurious books. Probably my two favorite books that I owned and I would never get rid of these. Um, this I have so much reading into. Uh, this is just, uh, I don't know. This has a letter at the beginning too from Luke, but it, it's its different. The, the, it, just two different levels of quality, honestly. Um, 
just the things that they added in. I just feel like they were better. And yes, yeah, some of them are just pieces of paper like this. I love this, that they tore out the prophecy and Luke was like, oh, look, they tried to suppress it. And things like this and, you know, the, the paper folding map. Yeah, I understand these are just pieces of paper too, but it, they were, they meant a little bit more like this. You got like a coin and a couple other things. I understand the box came with stuff and like a patch, but I understand the box came with a few feelies in there as well, but this just seems like a better fleshed out story, better realization. Um, uh, it just felt real to me, you know? This was great, and even just feeling it now, it, it it's a great book. Um, side by side, this is, a, this is a much flimsier cover. This seems like a, almost like a textbook, something that you'd get at school, which is what it's supposed to be. This seems like something a reader would put together. Someone that's like, I'm so happy I got to put this book together, bind all of these pages together. Very, very deep uh, bezels in here. Is it bezels or is it embossing? I don't know. This is like something someone took pride in when they put it together. Uh, very, very fine details. Very, very elegant looking. But uh, unfortunately, uh, the feelies just weren't great for me and i know you're gonna see like it's just stupid stuff on the inside this is probably one of the more high quality ones but um i don't know they just kind of didn't do the same for me as they did in the first book i don't know what it was one thing i do have to give this credit for was the differences in pages and stuff like that you really felt like you were transitioning into a really really different book and I think this is probably one of the biggest pluses and cons of it it felt so authentic that this was being written by different authors even though this is this whole book's written by the same person the comments the sections everything written by the same person uh, had different voices though which is really really great it was almost like he's writing pages of dialogue from one person um, this was these pages were a little bit similar to the other pages in the book except just the different uh, um, different colorations, borders on it, um, but still, uh, one, one of the better chapters in the book. Um, I, I do like the character work in this. The character work done in this, from the author's perspectives, the authors of the different books in here, w was great. Um, really, really had different voices and things like that. Um, even the page, like. This, this is one of my little qualms. These two pages have are very, very similar and they put them next to each other. Um, I guess because they're being bound in chronological order, that's kind of what you got. Maybe the Darth Plagueis one should have went first before the Mother Talzin one. I don't know. Um, that, 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 I think that's a small qualm and I think maybe that there should have been another book in here to kind of separate these two at some point. I don't know who you would have put in there. Um, maybe like a mall or something but i don't know if mall would have had the time to write to write this out you know what i mean uh maybe another dark jedi maybe a journal entry from quinlan voss instead of him just being featured on some of these items mainly voss what if he wrote about um his tracking techniques and things like that that might have been cool um but I think those are very, very small critiques. Um, uh, the, the packaging on this overall is great. Um, it's just not as fun as a read as this. I'm sorry. Uh, they're, they're both great. If I was to pick one, I, I can only afford one. Jedi Path Collector Edition all the way. You can get both books. I, I got both books. But uh, if you can only afford one, this one. Buy this one first. Um, but also, I like a different reading style. I also like reading manuals and things like that, and um, um, different um, kind of books like this. This is kind of a book that I like to read. Um, service manuals, things like that. Um, reference pages. Um, I just like to know all this geeky stuff, how things work. And this this book worked for me. Um, this one not as much. This is a little bit, these were journal entry. It is what it is. This was a textbook. This was a journal entry. Which ones do you like to read more? I like reading more of a textbook style book. You know, um, when I first heard about this book, when I pre-ordered it, I thought it was going to be almost like a textbook for the Sith. Uh, obviously, they would have a different type of teaching and things like that, but... Um, this is more learning through stories, learning through experiences. This is more straight factual learning 
this is probably like why I like the Darth Bane version of uh, chapter a little bit more. It felt a little bit more textbooky, which is great. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my opinion on this. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I know this year, this book has been this review for this book has been really really long time in the making, and I know this review is a little bit more detailed, but. I like this one more. That's why it was more detailed. Still a great book, great purchase. I would definitely say buy. Both of these I'd definitely say buy. But um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll try to keep this short because it's such a long video. But if you like this video, please subscribe for more Star Wars-like content. I do video games, Star Wars, and I try to get some anime in there as well. Um, also, I did do a review of Jedi Path. It was a very, very long time ago. But I will link to the two-part review because at the time YouTube would only let me post 15-minute max videos. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.